Hey guys, welcome to the channel techbeast.org and today what we are going to see is all about an interesting open source uh, project developed by Mozilla and the community uh, respecting your privacy. And the project is all about uh, building your own smart home using Mozilla's Web Things gateway. So this is the part one of the video and we are going to see uh, some introduction about this gateway and we are going to install and set this up using a Raspberry Pi. So what is Mozilla's Web Things Gateway and why it is so special? Okay, it's a software distribution for smart home gateway focused on privacy. So meaning all your data is not going to store in any of the cloud or something like that. You are just going to store all your uh, private smart home uh, data in your own Raspberry Pi which will be kept in your home alone, okay? So uh, it's completely um, secured and uh, it's going to provide an interoperable uh, environment for all your smart home devices, okay? So you can have a diverse range of smart home products which can be uh, from various manufacturers. You can able to control uh, with this uh, WebThings gateway. And the cool thing is we are going to run everything in your Raspberry Pi. And it has a collection of reusable software components to help developers build their own web things. Okay, so you can, if you're good in uh, programming, uh, you can use any of the uh, programming languages which you're good at to build uh, your own custom web things and which we will uh, see in detail in part two of this uh, of the video. And you can uh, able to monitor and control your uh, smart home devices via unified web interface, uh, which is basically a progressive web app, uh, which comes along with this gateway and you can use to monitor and control all your smart home devices. And why Mozilla IoT is so cool? It's completely open source, so you can check out the GitHub link which is in the description to take a look at the code and what is uh, running uh, inside and what's the brain behind for this project. Um, it has an active community, so you can check out the discourse forum which is also uh, given in the description. So if you have any doubts or if you have any questions, the community is always active to um, answer your um, questions. And it supports wide range of smart home products and Almost most of the smart home devices today uh, in the market you can able to control with this smart home gateway and it supports developers to build their own web things and add-ons using several languages like Python, Node.js, Java, Arduino, Rust and so and so. If you are good in programming you can always create your own custom web things and you can share with the community and the community is so happy to support you in all this uh, way. And you will get a free subdomain to control your smart home and you can use it uh, to, to log into your gateway and control your and monitor your devices anytime, anywhere, securely. Okay, so now, um, so this, this is just a, a, a brief introduction about this gateway and let me take you to the installation and setup of this gateway and let's get our hands dirty. Set up this gateway in your Raspberry Pi, log on to iot.mozilla.org and click on the gateway section. This page will take you to the download options available and in this case we are going to install it for our Raspberry Pi. So just click download and the image will be downloaded to your machine. After downloading the image just uh, install the Balina HS software and just open your image here and in my case I have uh, downloaded the image I've just chose it and you can choose your SD card where you wanna flash this image to. Just wait for a while or grab a coffee until your flashing gets completed. Okay. So now my flash is complete and we are going to boot up our Raspberry Pi gateway by following this getting started guide. This document is very clear and each and every step we are just going to go through to install our WebThings gateway. Okay, so the moment you boot up your Raspberry Pi with the downloaded image, the Raspberry Pi will broadcast an SSID with the last four digit ending with your MAC address. Okay, so in my case, it's WebThings Gateway B1E9 and I just click connect and I'm going to connect it um, to set up this uh, gateway first. So you can see here all the list of available SSIDs uh, near my region and in my case, I'm just going to uh, connect to my home network and just key in the password, uh, click connect to make this Raspberry Pi uh, WebThings gateway part of your network. Uh, as stated, you can see, please ensure that you are connected to the same network and then navigate to gateway.local in your web browser to continue setup. So when I click gateway.local, you can see, uh, so the, 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 the DNS, the domain name is not properly resolved. Um, it doesn't matter. So you can find the IP address of your uh, Raspberry Pi uh, through uh, by logging into your uh, router. So in my case, my router is in 192.168.1.254. I'm just logging into it and that's my uh, router. Since I already know my IP address, I'm just gonna skip this step for now. So just type the IP address of your Raspberry Pi and this will take you to the welcome page of your gateway. 
Uh, you can also choose a secure uh, web address for your gateway. So in my case, techbeast.mozilla-audio.org, I have already claimed that domain. So if you want, you can claim um, your own domain so that you can access it uh, remotely from anytime, anywhere. So as of now, I'm just keeping it and I'm going to create my first user account under the name techbeast. And uh, I'm just going to give the uh, email address techbeast.gmail.com. So it can be anything, uh, any of your email address. And I'm just going to type the password and, and don't forget to give a strong password. Okay, so as this uh, is your own personal gate, way so it's always a good practice to uh, give a strong password and that's it so now you are inside your smart home web things gateway so in my next uh, video we are going to show you how you can able to set up uh, your uh, own web thing custom web things and how you can uh, control it so thanks for watching guys if you like my videos and channel please subscribe to it and show your support so uh, let's learn every day let's make technology easy pc for everyone I hope everyone is staying safe and thank you.